Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira and Dennis Bergkamp Arsenal take over bid. Yes, that is right. Welcome back to your boys channel. Could the Arsenal legends of Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp and Patrick Vieira be set to take over Arsenal? And are they a part of Swedish billionaire Daniel X's plan to take over? What has Stan Kroenke been saying as well? A lot of interesting news to so let's discuss in today's video. Yo, 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 what is going on guys, my name is Bavs14, welcome back to your boys channel, and yeah, as I said, Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, Dennis Bergkamp, three Arsenal legends taking over Arsenal, let's discuss my guys, here we go, right here then, straight away, the Arsenal take over bid, I won't lie to you guys, when I woke up to this news, I did not know what to say, I was shocked, I was surprised, I was getting very excited, very nervous, like I don't know what to say right now, because this morning, Matt Law dropped a bomb, saying I have got a good authority, that Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp and Patrick Vieira have joined Daniel Ek in his bid to buy Arsenal FC and I am told it is very real. Now I was not expecting that news of course we've been speaking about yesterday Daniel Ek wanted to buy Arsenal and his interest being very genuine and the fact that he has now gone out there and recruited three Arsenal legends, three of Arsenal's biggest ever players Vieira, Henry and Dennis Bergkamp bro I know you're serious now. You also then had ITV News claim that Swedish and Spotify billionaire Daniel Ek is set to launch a takeover bid for Arsenal within days, teaming up with Henri, Burkham and Vieira, an official announcement of a £1.8 billion takeover attempt of the North London club could come soon. £1.8 billion, now that's a lot of money there and there to put on the table, bro, I want to see this in cash. Hold it right there though, my guys. Just before we proceed, if you man can go down there and smash that like button and show some love, I'd appreciate that. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to your boy. We are on the road to 40 thousand subscribers so do your thing and subscribe my guys much appreciation the telegraph are claiming if ek is successful in his bid to take control of the gunners then it is understood Henri, Burkham and Vieira could all return to Arsenal to be a part of a new setup with their knowledge of the club and the fan base already proving invaluable to his plans they will be a part of the board in terms of making decisions and you know seeing Arsenal try to get back to where we deserve to be and that is at least in the top four and also let's not forget these guys are Arsenal in Invincibles. They were part of the last Arsenal title winning team and they know exactly what it takes for Arsenal Football Club to be successful. So it's things you love to see. But before you Arsenal fans get too excited, we need to know first things first, the current Arsenal owner, Stan Kroenke. First things first, does he want to sell? And secondly, how much does he want? Well, according to the Guardian, the reliable Guardian, they're claiming Stan Kroenke is thought to want at least two billion pounds if he is to consider selling the club that he has run since April 2011 and the same source placed that figure considerably higher. So we've already had that Daniel Ek is preparing a 1.8 billion pound bid, but Stan Kroenke saying I want two bills minimum. So it's a lot of money. As I said, this is not going to be a simple or easy process by any means whatsoever. But the Guardian have also given us a bit more of a positive update as they claim that Daniel Ek's personal fortune is estimated to be around 3.4 billion pounds, although figures close to the nascent consortium say he would have little problem amassing the sum necessary to tempt Kroenke into selling. So what my man is saying is money is not an issue. If you want money, Stan, I will give you the money. And you know what, as I said, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. The fact that Daniel Ek has gone out there and contacted the three Arsenal legends in Henri and Vieira and Bergkamp, that tells me he's serious about his bid. He knows what Arsenal need as a club and most importantly what Arsenal fans want as well. But as I've said yesterday and I'll say it one more time, this all depends on our current owners and if they are willing to sell. Now those owners are never going to come out and say directly to the fans that we want to sell Arsenal because the moment they say that is the moment they give the initiative to Daniel Ek and anyone that wants to buy Arsenal they decrease the value of Arsenal Football Club but let's not forget Daniel Ek is also a very rich person you know as I said 3.5 billion pounds is his estimated current fortune but most importantly the current company that he founded and he's the owner and the CEO for Spotify is worth an estimated 60 billion dollars the guy has the money, he could buy Arsenal but the thing is, how much is he willing to spend? In terms of Thierry Henry speaking on TalkSport today, he says that Arsenal fans have spoken, they are not happy and I am with them, I am a fan too and I am happy with the protest, it's the fans club, fans will decide the future of the club. So TT Henry is saying there to our faces live and direct that he is with the side of the Arsenal fans. Daniel Ek was 21 years old when Arsenal became invincibles, like all fans of that generation, Ek grew up idolizing 
Jackson Tierney, Dennis Bergkamp and Patrick Vieira, and the invincible team they played for and everything it represented. But for me, this is more than just being an Arsenal fan, there is so much that has to be done if he wants to actually buy Arsenal Football Club. And as always, to have a buyer, you need a seller, so unless Stan and Josh really want to sell Arsenal, lads, I'm not sure what's going to happen. If Daniel Ek is to buy Arsenal, there's nothing confirmed that he's going to, you know, run the club differently and he's going to spend their money, you know, and we don't know anything right now. Are you guys for Thierry Henry, Dennis Burke and Patrick Vieira and Daniel Ek taking over Arsenal from Stan Kroenke, lads? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always. I'd love to know what you might want to say. Moving on to the second thing and that is following Balogun's Arsenal future. We have got the confirmed. Here we go. Signed the thing, signed, sealed and delivered. Following Balogun is here to stay. As Arsenal officially announced today, following Balogun here to stay, our Arsenal Academy graduate has signed a new long-term contract with the club. Man, sign the thing. It's official now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Balogun is here to stay and it's things you love to see as always. And it was quite interesting because Arsenal posted a video of Balogun on the YouTube page. And in the interview, he makes it clear that he is an ambitious person and he sees himself as a future leader of Arsenal Football Club. He is here to stay. But most importantly, he is here to play. He would not have signed that contract if he wasn't offered first team minutes. So don't be surprised if going into that massive game on Thursday, if we see Balogun get involved with the first team. But of course, with the injuries to Lacazette and Abana not being fully fit either, who would you start down the middle in that game against Villarreal, Martinelli, uh, Balogun, or maybe even Eddie Nketiah, lads? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. We also have an update from Chris Wheatley, and he has said that Arsenal will look to sell at least four players this summer in a bid to raise funds for new signings. Mikel Arteta is keen on signing Martin Erdogan on a permanent deal this summer, while right back and a left back positions will also look look to be strengthened. Four players set to leave Arsenal, that is the key there and there. Who are those players gonna be? The report has also claimed that Arsenal are open to selling A's new men and nows. Eddie and Ketia or Hector Baron is keen on leaving the club if the right opportunity arises. Matteo Gonduzi and Lucas Sura are both expected to be sold and Sead Kolasnik remains likely to leave as well. Man like Fofty, I love you A's new men and nows, but if you don't play right back then it's time to say bye bye. Eddie and Ketia, I wish you the best in the future but I just don't think you will Arsenal need and in terms of Hecky B Hector Bellerin I just don't think you're good enough to be a right back for Arsenal for Arsenal to upgrade as a team but in terms of the likes of Guendouzi and Torreira lads what would you do with their futures would you keep Matteo Guendouzi or would you sell Matteo Guendouzi the report has also claimed that Joe Willick's fall for Newcastle could see him return to compete for a place in the first team William Saliba will return for pre-season and football not understand Dinos Mavrapanos will either go out on loan for another campaign or depart on a permanent move I I won't lie to you guys, that final part, Mavrapanos, I want him to stay, but if Arsenal don't think that, it is what it is. In terms of man like Joseph Willock, I think, you know what, I can see a future, but as I said, if the right fee comes in with the players that Arsenal want to sign, like Martin Erdegaard, we're going to need money, and I won't be surprised if Arsenal end up selling Joe Willock. And in terms of the Mbappe, your centre-backs, William Saliba, of course, my man has to return because he's showing his talent, he is showing the levels, of course, in League 1 uh, as well, and I am hopeful that this season, and I'm hopeful the next season, could be the year for William Saliba at Arsenal and not at any other club. But let me know your own thoughts on Saliba and most importantly, Dinos Mavropanos. Would you bring back Mavropanos or would you sell him or loan him back to Stuttgart, lads? Let me know your thoughts down below in them comments. And finally, here is the other Arsenal news today. First things first, Mick Arteta has made it clear what players he wants to build around. There are several players who are considered indispensable in the current Arsenal squad. Would Mick Arteta looking to build the team around the likes of Bukhari? Kyle Saka, Thomas Partey and Kieran Taney. And you know what, I am all for that. Because there are very few players that if I look into Arsenal's current team and I go, those are players that Arsenal need to keep. But saying that we do have so many young players like Saka, like Tierney, like Gabriel Magalhaes, like Balogun, like Martinelli, like Saliba. So we've got a young core that we can build around. But in terms of the more experienced man, them, the striker, the centre-backs, the right-backs, the goalkeeper even, can all be questioned. But it's clear to see that Mikel Arteta has decided and what players he wants to build around. But instead of asking the question of what players you want to see Arsenal sell, what players do you want to see Arsenal keep? Let me know what you might have saying down below. And finally, lads, Thierry Henry and Alan Shira have become the first players to be inducted to the Premier League Hall of Fame. My GOAT, my striker, the Premier League GOAT, TT Henry, Thierry Henry, the first inductee alongside Alan Shira of the Hall of Fame. Now, that is things you love to see, and it's things you have to see. As I've already said, 
he's the GOAT of the Premier League, he's the best player this league has ever seen. He of course is the glorious past of Arsenal Football Club, but could he now be a part of the future of Arsenal Football Club along with Vieira and Burkham and Daniel Ek? Well we are going to have to wait and see. But there you man go, that is the video there and there, drop a like on the video and do subscribe to your boy if you are new to the channel, let me know your thoughts on all things that I have discussed. If you want to follow your boy on the social media and them things there, the links will be down below in the description. But there you guys go, you guys are now up to date with the latest Arsenal news today, 2021, and I will see you soon. Take over bid, my guys. We're going to see. Love it.